What's happening, Shredder Nation? Happy, what the hell is today? Thursday. Happy Thursday. Happy final cleanse day. Happy ER Shred finale, if you will. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited for all of you. I'm going to give it a few minutes and just jibber jabber as people jump on because tonight I want to go over what we're going to cover tonight is the ER Shred is done. Now, what do you do? What do you do, right? What do you eat? Can I bring foods back in? Can I have my ionics? Can I eat some vegetables? How do I figure this out? Can I shred again? All these questions are coming up. So I wanted to jump in here and see if we can snip a couple of them in the butt. Heather, on day four, missed last week. But as we come in, uh, I'm, high, I'm only showing my face right now because today, I got this little package. It was waiting for me on my uh, my desk chair, which I, I don't use all that much, but it's over there. And uh, it was an Amazon package, so it felt squishy. I opened it up, and out came this tank top. And I was like, what? And I, I thought I knew who it was, but I had to ask Crystal, my fiance. I was like, did you buy me a tank top? And she's like, no, what is it? I told her what it said, and she was like, I would never buy you something like that. And I was like, oh, okay. So <laughs> obviously I knew it was Sean. And I I'm pumped. The debut, we have to make ER shred shirts like this. Dun, 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 dun. Suck it up. I go back with Buttercup. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So many of you have sucked it up. And I'm so freaking proud of you. I'm proud of you, and I hope you're proud of yourself. Um, as you're jumping in, do me a favor. I know I did this last minute. Sometimes that's how my life is. If I get some free minutes, I gotta, I gotta jump in and just, just pour value. I felt the need to show up for you guys tonight because everybody's finishing, and I've, I've seen so many posts in the group. So as you come in, do me a favor, tag your teammates, comment on this. If you're on Facebook, hit the like button, hit the heart button, get the algorithm to put it out there so so more and more people can benefit from the information because for me the er shred is not just an 11 day protocol that's not why i signed on in the beginning um that's not why sean is here that's not why crystal is here the er shred is long-term lifestyle it's a lifestyle that you can adopt adapt and live the best life that you could possibly live physically mentally hopefully that carries over into relationships and career and it just provides you the energy provides you the clarity it provides you with the health you know you guys have heard me say it before but i truly believe that our health is our greatest wealth you you can have as much money in the world as you want and you can only buy so much um when you've destroyed your body enough game over lights out bye bye see you later no more you and i know i don't know about you but for me i have visions of running up and down mountains until i'm well into my 80s like i have visions of continuing to work out i want to make sure that i can put my own clothes on and tie my own shoes and make my own decisions and i want to do everything feasibly possible to give myself the best health and just like everybody else i still have crutches I still have things that I turn to. I still have things that I need to work on. And it's constantly a work in progress. And, you know, why am I sharing this with you? Because before, I thought you were going to tell me what food to eat. I am going to tell you. So be patient. But I need to share this with you because for me, it's the mindset. It's the mindset that you need. If you don't have the right mindset, if you didn't come into the ER shred looking to learn, about you and how the inner workings of you work, I feel like you're missing the most important piece, the most valuable piece of this entire program. Are you going to lose weight? Hell yeah. Are you going to feel better? Hell yeah. Is your skin going to feel better? Hell yeah. Are you going to sleep better? Yes. Are you going to go through ups and downs and lefts and rights? Are some of you going to breeze through and some of you going to have troubles? Hell yes. It's all of it put together. But the mental aspect, the understanding aspect, the maybe you've pushed further than you ever pushed before that's a big freaking deal maybe you've broken through a plateau that you were stuck at for years that's a big freaking deal maybe you are digesting things better that's a big freaking deal maybe you're sleeping a little bit better that's a big freaking deal you see 
we always overlook all of these things and all of these little things. You see, true health isn't just one thing. True health isn't, ha isn't muscles. That's not true health. I know a lot of bodybuilders who are very unhealthy. They're unhealthy on the inside and they're jacked up. So true health is about you. It's about good sleep. It's about physical activity. It's about uh, nurturing relationships. It's about feeling good, looking good, performing good for your family, for your wife, for your husband, for your boyfriend, for your girlfriend, for your kids, for your, your job, for, for your future. True health is, is a package. It's not just a one thing or not. Do you understand? It, it's, it's everything. And that's what I look at when I see the ER shred and I see and I talk to people. Guys, we have so many stories. Like I can't wait tomorrow for the page to be flooded with all of your amazing success stories. I, I can't wait. Literally, I look forward to it. And we've already had some coming in. And it, it just that's what, that's what keeps me alive. That's what keeps me going. That's what keeps me so motivated because I just, I don't know. Like when I figured that out for myself so many years ago, I just believed that everybody deserved it. And I've tried for so many years. I've tried so many different things, so many different approaches. Like it, it, science is confusing. Health is confusing. There's, there's all these different things. But I knew that if you just put the connection together, in how powerful the food drug, uh, how powerful the drug food actually was. And you understood how every single bite of food you took literally talked to the inside of your body, literally sent signals instantly. We're not talking days from now. We're talking instantly. You, you eat something that's inflammatory, bang, your body goes into response mode. You eat something that's going to cause digestive issues or you have a food sensitivity to, bang, you're going to cause massive blow and, and acid reflux and all kinds of shit that we just kind of like go through life and we're like, oh, it's okay. Like, I'm just getting older. Like, no, no. So it's, it's all these things put together. Do you understand? So that's, that's one is that when you're done with the shred, I would encourage you, I would highly recommend that you take a notebook and you just journal out what have you experienced? What have you learned about you? Not just how much weight you lost, not just how many inches you lost. What else? Dig deeper. What were you really doing this for in the first place? I don't believe, like, you can say you wanted to lose weight, but what's the actual meaning behind it? You want to lose weight, why? Because you're not confident, because you don't feel sexy in your clothes, because you don't feel worthy, because it's it's ruining your relationship what's the reason and what are the things that you're going towards now i always say we want to focus on feel good first if we focus on feel good first look good is going to come second the byproduct of looking good is feeling good every single day right so really take the time to to, to put out your thoughts and understand and appreciate and don't just be like i only lost five pounds if you freaking knew what five pounds less inside your body looked like and and how the inside of your body was celebrating you'd give yourself a high five you'd throw a party for yourself you are doing amazing things and that's our problem so that's another mindset shift is that we in this world we want things now we want things now, right? And it doesn't work like that with health. So that's what I wanted to leave you with that. Now, let's get into, let's see, let's see. Science, Danielle, boom, 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 boom. I'm just seeing if there's any questions. If you guys have questions, put them into the chat and let's make this a little bit of a QA and a type of thing as well, right? So I'm gonna give you some suggestions. As you know, I'm not gonna tell you exactly what to eat. That's not my job. My job is not to tell you what to eat. You are a big boy and girl. I'm not your mommy and daddy. I don't have any joy in telling you what to eat. Your job is to use your intuition. Your job is to use your brain. Your job is to ask yourself the questions. If I eat this food, do I feel that it will serve my bigger goal? Do I feel that it has a place in my body? Does it deserve space in my body? Is it providing me nutrition? Is it going to make me feel alive? Or is it going to make me feel like 
I want to curl up in a ball and just lay there and die because my stomach's in knots. A lot of you know these foods. You know the foods. It's just getting yourself to commit and understand why you're doing it. It goes back to the why again. You're not doing it because the vanity reason of losing weight. You're doing it because you know that if you lose weight, you're going to have all the personal things, confidence, feeling sexy, so on and so forth, but you're also going to drastically lower your chances of chronic disease. You're going to drastically lower your like, like heart disease and high blood pressure and high cholesterol and all of these other crazy ass things that are directly linked to carrying excess body fat. So you're doing it because you want to feel good. You're doing it because of that reason, not because of something else. It can't be exterior. It cannot be an exterior motive unless you're doing it for, say, your kids because you want more energy to be able to play with them because you're always laying on the couch. Now, that's an internal reason. You understand? But, but there's a very big difference. Like You've got to be careful not just to do it because you want to look like the girl who's photoshopped in the magazine. You want to look like the guy who sticks needles in his ass and shoots steroids, and you want to be that guy on the cover of the magazine. If you're doing it for that reason, I can't get behind you. I just can't get behind you. Like it doesn't, it doesn't float. It doesn't float in my world. Okay. So you're ending the ER shred. Let's get into this now. What do you do? A lot of people have asked, can I keep going? How quickly can I do another ER shred? Mindset. This is, we have to shift it again. The 11 day protocol is a, a tracks to run on. It's to get you to pull back the reins a little bit. Right now you're just shoving your face full of all this stuff. Some of it you think is healthy, it's not. Some of it's not healthy, you know it's not healthy. Some of it you have no freaking clue, you're just eating it because Oprah said to eat it. <laughs> like, I don't fucking know. But you got, you got to start to understand, like, you know, that's where you're at. So the ER shred pulls it all back. We wail chronic inflammation, bloat, skin, energy, mental clarity, focus. You see how powerful it is. You've experienced it. You feel it, right? You feel alive. So you are switched your body. You're starting to get a taste of what it's like to be fat adaptive, the, the, the endless supply of energy that's, that's in stored body fat that constantly never goes away. It doesn't spike. It doesn't come down. It doesn't cause cravings. It just gives you sustained, steady energy all the way through. You're getting a piece of that. So my question to you first off is, you, you know, can you keep going? The ER shred lifestyle, the way of eating, there's nothing unhealthy about this way of eating. As long as you're being mindful and you're making sure that you're covering, you know, the essentials of proteins and healthy fats and you're getting in your incubated shakes for your vitamins and your minerals and your nutrients and you're covering, you're crossing the T's, you're dotting the I's, like you, you have all the basics covered. Now, after the ER shred, can you do it again? Hell yeah, you can do it again. I would recommend you wait five days in between. Well, what do I do on the five days in between? That's a question that's come up. Great question. You keep going. You keep going, but you're not worried about a cleanse day. You're not worried about a shake and, shake and steak day. It just becomes a way of life. You look at the shakes as the, 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 the foundation of your nutrition. Those have been the foundation of my nutrition for the last six years of my life. I just got the incubation aspect of it, and holy shit, I wish I had it before. But the shakes are the foundation. I know through study that I cannot get the bioavailable vitamins, minerals, nutrients, antioxidants, and all the other goodness in, in $3 at a bioavailable level, meaning my body can absorb it and I can utilize it. I cannot find that in any grocery store. I cannot eat that amount of food to get the nutrition that's contained in that shake. So no, I am not part of the fucking shake club. I don't do the shake club because it's the cool thing to do. If you learn anything about me, I don't do that. What I'm doing it for is because it's the base of my nutrition. I know that my body needs A, B, C, D, E, F, all the way to Z to function properly. And I need to make sure that I get that in. It also makes my life easy. I mean, shit, I make up a macronutrient balanced meal in literally less than a minute and a half. Obviously, with the incubation process, I'm talking about the blending and, and the cleaning process. Like when I make steak and eggs and bacon, like I'm doing dishes and I'm cleaning up grease. And it's like 
I don't have to worry about that for these two meals. It makes my lunchtime easier. It makes my breakfast easier. So there's so many other reasons. But the main reason for me, if you know anything about me and food, is I'm doing it because of the nutrition value. I'm doing it because my body needs that, right? Let's see. Yeah, I love the shakes and they're a meal. So simplistic and healthy. Absolutely. I'm feeling great. I have no pain, inflammation, and I'm actually scared and excited to start introducing ISIS snacks and treats back in. I'm going to get to that in one second. Um, brr, being steady is no different. Okay, great. So here's the thing. So I'm doing it for that reason. Okay. So, so that's that aspect of it. And the same thing with the meat. Hopefully you have come to the realization that red meat and all other kinds of meat are not as bad as what they've made them out to be. I can show you the research that shows where all that bullshit came from in the first place and every single piece of it tracks back to money. If you understand how connected the big pharma and the big food and the government and the, the ta and guys, it's all connected. Do you understand? It's all connected. I truly believe that the healthcare system is not healthcare, it's sick care. Healthcare is functional medicine. Healthcare is doing what you're doing right now. You are personally doing health care by taking care of your body and fueling it what it needs. So hopefully you've learned that. So you keep the meats coming. Now, the thing is, people are saying to me, oh, it's, it's boring. I don't know what planet you live on, but there's all sorts of meats that you can eat. I'm talking everything from beef. You can do chicken. You can do pork. You can do lamb. You can do seafood. Now, obviously, the fattier cuts of meat, if you want to continue the lifestyle of lower carb because you understand that there's way more energy when you fuel with fat versus fueling with glucose and you want to keep feeling jacked up amazing every day and want your body to go in that direction, if you want to do that, you need to make sure you're getting in enough healthy fats. And that's essential when you're not getting in as many carbohydrates. Your body only has two ways that it's going to use energy. It's going to be glucose or it's going to be fat. And it's always going to burn glucose first, but you can only hold 2,000 calories worth of energy in the form of glucose that gets stored into the muscles and the fibers inside your body. Your body can hold over 100,000 calories of energy in fat. In fact, a 150 pound man has about 100,000 calories worth of stored body fat energy. Now, the higher the body fat percentage, the more fat you're obviously going to store. And that's where being overweight and obesity comes into play is you have an imbalance. You have way too much of that stored energy and you need to get it into regulation. You need to bring it back into check. Your, your system's not working properly. It's, it's all, it, you, you have it like this. It needs to be like this. Cool? So you need to make sure that you're doing that. So when you're coming off of it, in between the shreds, if you want to shred again, again, nothing wrong with it, nothing unhealthy, just be wise. And I'm going to show you a little trick that you can do too, depending upon where you're at. You see, this all depends upon you and your personal goals. I am not you. My goals are different than yours. My food can be your poison. Like, like I shared this with Sean last night. I can eat certain foods that if Sean eats, it will absolutely destroy his gut like that. And here I am. I can eat something running down a trail in the middle of an ultra marathon. I've trained my gut. I, I haven't had that issue. My stuff comes into the form of play of gas and, and dealing with all that other stuff. And I, I'm actually blown away with how less gassy I even am with the way that I'm eating now versus how I was eating. Like I've cleaned it up a lot since we've done this and I, I kind of dialed back into this because I used to do this way back and I've played around and switched around. But during those five days, if you want to be super strict because you have big goals to hit, keep going. You're not doing anything wrong. You're not doing anything wrong. I want you to come and I want you to be in tune with your body. You guys got to learn to be in check with your body. Those signals that your body is sending, the headaches all the time aren't normal. The pains and cramps aren't normal. The, 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 the gas, the excessive gas, not normal. Not normal. These are signals that your body is talking to you. And if you're experiencing these things during the shred, that's normal. It's the way you see the body's flipping. The body's flipping. I'm talking if you're living life like that every single day. But a lot of you, a lot of you, <laughs> a lot of you have experienced, you know, discomfort. And 
You put yourself there. You put yourself there. And this is the way, this is your body detoxing. This is your body saying, okay, I'm doing good. I'm, I'm converting from bad to good. So all these things are normal. So during the five-day break or however many day break you want, a week, a two week or whatever, don't lose the lifestyle. That would be silly, right? You see the magic, pay attention, get your notebook out. The magic to true health is consistency. The magic to true health is consistency, daily consistency. The little tiny things added up each and every day. The better choices. You're choosing pork rinds over potato chips. You're choosing, you know, healthy fats over processed carbs. Some of you, you were doing that six times a day, seven times a day for seven days a week, and you it all adds up. If you learn to create that balance and 90% of the time it's good, clean, whole food, 90% of the time you're going, yes, that is going to serve my body. You deserve a spot inside me or hell no. But if sometimes you're like, hell no, but I just want it. Go get it. Go eat that donut. Go eat that donut. <laughs> go have that ice cream. Just be realistic. Okay. But anyways, back on track. Five days, stick to the protocol. The protocol of, of meats, the protocol of whatever. Now, my, my dinners, like tonight, I had, I, we roasted, um, we did a rotisserie chicken, a full organic chicken in the crock pot, and, and Crystal put that in there this morning. It like fell apart. I broke off my dark meat. I put it in a pan. I soaked it in some, some grass-fed butter. That was along with my, my four eggs and my bacon and my cut-up beef dog. You see, I never have a dinner where it's just one thing. That's boring. You can mix things up. This is why I'm confused where people are saying it's boring. Like You can mix things up. All meats are gain. All meats are gain. Just remember, if you're choosing the lean cuts, the chickens, the seafood, the lamb, the stuff that doesn't have the extra fats to balance you, you need to balance those fats out. Cool? Okay. So then we come after, we get back into the shred, you know what to do. Now, let's say some of you are, you smashed your second shred. Let's give some value to you guys who have, who have been doing this for a long time. How do you live this lifestyle? What do you do every day? Some guy told me he ate 1,300 calories in a day. I said, that's enough for about my, my right leg. I eat 3,500 calories a day. What kinds of things am I eating? I'm eating things that I know serve my body. I'm, I'm eating all the meats, all the butter, all the fats. I'm, I'm putting it in my coffee. I'm having it with my dinners. I, I bring my lunch with me. I eat things like roast beef and pastrami and, and red meats. I sometimes cut them up and bring them with me. I have two boiled eggs with me every day. I have a chomps beef stick with me. I have an entire avocado that I just slice in half before I go and I always make sure I have a spoon. Um, I have hard cheeses, cheddar cheese. I love freaking cheddar cheese. I love it. I have two sticks. Two. I buy the sticks. So I buy two sticks every day. Why? Because I can eat the entire freaking block of cheese for Christ's sake, but I need to control myself. I want to make sure that I have a balance of everything, right? And then for dinners, I mean, egg scrambles with hamburger and, you know, beef dogs and chicken sausage and bacon and, um, you know, all different cuts of meat, ribeyes. And, and I just got some lobster meat in from my butcher box and um, some more chicken. And I got some chuck roast and I got a big pork butt and I'm going to make some pulled pork. And I know that that pork is grass fed, it's pasture raised, it's, it's certified, right? So I'm still going for all of that type of stuff. And of course, like guys, I do, I honestly, if I'm being honest with you, I do three shakes a day. I do my morning shake, my, my one for lunch. It's like a snack to me. And then I have usually have another one at nighttime because we eat dinner and then I stay up for a few more hours and I'm usually hungry and I like to make sure I have protein before I go to bed. There's all other science on that too. But I make sure that I have another shake and, and I blend it super, super thick. And sometimes I put a little bit of almond butter in there or um, some organic peanut butter and I blend that up super thick and it's like a chocolate peanut butter ice cream. Um, and for me, I'm an ice cream addict. Hi, my name is Jesse and I'm addicted to ice cream. Um, true story. So if I have ice cream in the house, fucking lights out, it's over. Like I'm eating that whole thing. But instead I stop buying that and I make my, my thick, delicious chocolate shake. You can have a half a shake. You can have just a protein shake. Um, you know, there's all sorts of things that you can do to keep the protein pacing going and, and make sure that good quality protein is spaced throughout your body.
Don't forget the Jimmys. That must be Lisa. I just see Facebook user, but you're the only one that will say Jimmys. <laughs> I love it. So that's how I live life. And, and that's every day. Now, some of you are coming back in and you used Isogenics before. You're not brand new. You didn't start Isogenics with the ER shred. And you're like, Jesse, my ionics. Jesse, the collagen, magical collagen. And I agree it's a good product, but damn, we're getting crazy. And, and Jesse, um, you know, my pre-workouts and my hydrate. And here's what I want to tell you. Every single Isogenics product that you look at, you can read the nutrition label. And I agree with the majority of it. I don't agree with the, with the excessive use of sugar, alcohols, and some of the things. However, compared to what's out there, I mean, geez, there's nothing even close. Okay, let me just make that and put that on record. Um, that's why I joined in the first place. You have to figure out what's going to work with you. If, if it fits into your life, great. You just have to be mindful. You've got to stop just taking things or wanting to take things because somebody else says it's healthy. It's the concept of the ER shred. If you haven't learned that, yes, of course you can take the collagen. Yes, of course you can take ionics. I happen to be a big fan of ionics and I take ionics every single morning. That is like a product that I would get in a knife fight over. And yes, I did take it out when I did a strict 11 days with you guys because I wanted to make sure, like I don't just, put people through stuff that I'm not willing to do, first of all. And I love to take a good hard reset, you know what I mean, like every half year or two a year, especially if you're a person that constantly beats the shit out of yourself like I do, your body needs a break. You know, I'm putting in these, these things and I'm utilizing it all. I know my levels, but your body needs a break. And it, it's the most amazing feeling ever because you come back again. And this time I found out broccoli is not my friend. Go figure, right? Go figure that broccoli's not my friend. Um, and I'm learning a lot of plants on. Like, I think I, I ate so many vegetables and plants that it actually made me like wick gassy. And it was horrible. Like, I used to stink my dad out every single day. And he actually said that to me. He goes, you know, you're less gassy since you've done it this way. I like it. <laughs> I'm like, okay, dad, I'll keep it going. <laughs> Sorry if that's that's too much information. But some of you share the world with me. So, um, okay, what else? What else? What else? What else? I'm sorry, Aubrey. Suck it up. Suck it up, Buttercup. I'm wearing the shirt for you. We're cleansing. I don't feel bad for you. Cleansing. Big deal. Uh, I'm just kidding. No, but seriously, big deal. Um. Anyways, so what else can I? What else can I tell you? Okay. Do you understand? Do you? Am, am I helping you at all? Do you understand that it's like there's no right and wrong? I need you to get out of. And I get it. You've been told that that's right and that's wrong for so long, but. Mind, you've got to work on the mind. And, and when you feel these thoughts coming up, you got to tell yourself, shut the, shut up. You've got to talk. you got to tell yourself. Somebody's got to, you got to lay the hammer. You got to drop the fist. You have to tell yourself that. So anyways, um, any other questions for any of you that are on any other questions? If you guys watch this later, you know, if you're on, a, um, if you come in and you're watching this on replay, drop replay, ask your question. Let me know what it is. I'll come back, do the best that I can, like I always do. Um, I can't promise you, but can you freeze a shake and eat it like ice cream? Hell yeah. It's like you mean incubate it first and then freeze the shake in the freezer and then eat it like ice cream after? Absolutely. Absolutely. Like once you incubate the shake, it's good for 12 hours and you can re-blend it with ice. You can add, you know, if you're using regular isoline, you can add some isopro. Um, you can freeze it. You can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want, you know. I'll be dead honest with you. I didn't want to confuse people. I like to put a couple blueberries in my vanilla shake in the morning. Um, you know, again, here's one of those things. If you are, you know, close to being diabetic or you don't have control of your blood sugars, like even natural sugar is not going to be your friend. So I wouldn't suggest adding fruits and stuff to that nature. Oh, that's what it is. How, uh, what do you think about doing a belly buster? Yes. If you're on the 11 day shred hardcore protocol, only the protein. If you're doing it after and you want to incorporate that back into your personalized lifestyle, 
by all means, put it in there. Um, it, it's Again, you got to feel it out. The greens might not work with you or, or whatever the case may be. I've done the belly buster version, the Jesse James Jemnick style, and that's just protein. I've never added anything else to it. I don't know what the benefits of all that is, but I do know that quality protein um, before bedtime actually will help the body heal, repair. You got to remember when you sleep, that's your body's number one time to rest, rebuild, and repair itself. It is prime time, which is why quality sleep is so important. And I know some people are like, oh, I have insomnia on the shred. Well, your body's going through some drastic changes right now. Hang tight. Suck it up, buttercup. I promise you will get better. I promise you will get better. Okay. Um, what else is I going to tell you? What else is I going to tell you? Shit, there's so much info, but I got I to gotta keep this basic. Um, you know, understanding your numbers, total daily energy expenditure. Listen, I have tons more videos coming. I, I'm, I'm working on mass content. We're going to make YouTube videos. We're going to put educational videos out there. Um, we're going to do all that. Sorry, I never put the other stuff in. Just, yes, that's perfect, Jill. If you've never put the other stuff in, you and I, we're on the same, we're on the same, uh, on, we're on the same highway. We're going the same way. Restless legs while cleansing. Any suggestions? Rest. That's your body's way of telling you to rest. What if you're working? Electrolytes. Guys, one of the biggest problems that people will have on something like the ER shred is actually electrolyte imbalance. And that's why the salt is so important. Getting in enough salt, sodium, potassium, magnesium are three electrolytes that if you're out of whack a little bit, it's going to make you feel really, really bad. So making sure that you're getting in enough salt throughout the ER shred, when you eliminate carbohydrates, it actually creates a hydration imbalance inside the body. And we're not going to get so far deep down that science hole right now, but just make sure you're getting in your electrolytes. Please get in your electrolytes. Um, having a shake before bed is good. Absolutely. Um, a clean middle school, go home at nine o'clock starving. Have a shake. Have a shake. Guys, the shakes are third-party certified low glycemic. What does that mean? They will not spike your blood sugar. You, you, have, you have as much sugar in there as a, a half of a medium apple, except you also have all the fiber and the, and the carbs that are in there. So because you're eating the sugar with the fiber and the carbs, you see sugar reacts differently based on what you have it with. And when these are formulated, they're formulated so perfectly, it's not going to spike your blood sugar. So don't be scared. There's no clock inside your body that says, oh shit, it's 8.30, it's time to get fat. <laughs> That's a myth. And whoever made that up should be kicked in the head because they confused a lot of people. How many days does it take to become fat adaptive? Good question. That depends on the person. It could, if you're very well, if you're already in shape, you're working out, you're pumping, it could be a very fast process, like two weeks. It could be sooner. Um, if you're a person who had really, really bad habits, you're really overweight, health is way out of check, this could be a four to six week process. It could be a four to six week process. Now, it's not going to suck the entire time, but it's going to take time to be Fully fat adaptive. What does that mean? What does that mean? Being fat adaptive means that your body's going to choose to utilize fat as energy versus glucose. And that does that mean that your body won't process glucose anymore? No. Your body will always turn to glucose as its first source of energy. And then once that's gone, then it will tap into fat. So, so you know, to you'll know if you're fat adaptive, like you got to be careful in the beginning, especially those of you that are just coming out of like the first shred and the second shred. If you're not fully fat adapted yet, you can throw yourself really quick out by eating a small amount of carbohydrates. Whereas somebody like myself, I can actually utilize carbohydrates before a workout because there's so much energy in carbohydrates and it's very fast digesting and instant because it's going to spike the sugar and that's where the energy comes from, I can burn that off very, very quickly. So as you continue to go down this, this, this lifestyle path, the longer you go, the more flexibility you have of eating something like a sweet potato or even if you cheated one day and you had a donut and you – I hate that word, but I, it just makes sense for you guys. Um, I don't look at it as cheating. I look at it as just being normal and living 
freaking life as a human. But anyways, for the, the terms, for the sense of it, if you cheated and had a donut or something like that, as you get further and further along in this lifestyle, your body will actually process that very, very differently than it would right now in your journey. So hopefully that, that answers your question. Um, let's see. Susan, you're right. Great info. I don't know what Susan says, but whatever Susan says, I back 100,000%. I don't even need to question that shit. Um, I've seen that many others have tons of energy, weren't hungry and slept like a baby. I didn't have any of those. Ha ha. It's not ha ha. Um, thank you for sharing that and being honest. And again, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that this is just peaches and cream. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that this is going to be a breeze for everybody. It's not. Um, that's why am I saying suck it up buttercup? Because some of you, again, I don't know you personally. All I can see is Facebook user. Um, so I don't know who you are, but um, it depends on where you're at. It depends on what your body needed to go through. You might have needed a deeper healing process than the, than, than the other person. You see, that's why comparison is the thief of all joy. If you compare yourself to somebody else, you don't know their story. You don't know how long they've been at the game. Maybe they weren't exactly hitting their goals, but maybe they weren't in such a position as another person. So I would say continue to go, trust the process. There's so much science, there's so much belief, like you're gonna have to dig deep and figure out your why, and, and that's really what it's gonna have to come down to. I love this protocol, although I've developed any, tests, any suggestions, send myself or Susan a, a Facebook message and we can see if we can help you. Um, your body might be detoxing. Hell yeah, Michelle, you know that better than anybody. I struggled with my first shred doing much better on this one. See, that's what it is. Like, congratulations. I hope you understand. Like, I love that. Like, you motivate me. I don't know who you are because this is Facebook user again, but I, I love that. I love that and I want to celebrate you because you didn't quit. You didn't give up. I'm so fucking tired of people just giving up so easy in this world. It's like, oh, it doesn't work. I just give up. Like it drives me nuts how fast we are to give up on anything. It's like, like what the hell? Like what are we doing to ourselves? I'm not going to go off on this tangent. I'm going to take a breath. However, like stop giving up. Stop giving up. The only person that you give up on is yourself. The only person you quit on if you quit is yourself. And let me ask you this. If you quit three weeks from now, are you in any better situation than you were right now? Are the three weeks still going to go by? That's all I got to say. This is my third one and I'm loving it. And yes, it feels like the new norm. Yes, I'm gonna highlight this. This is what it's about. This is exactly what it's about. If you live the lifestyle long enough, you do it long enough. Like that's where I'm at in life. I'm not gonna to lie to you guys. Like this to me is not hard because I've done it for so long. Was it hard for me in the beginning? Hell yes, it was hard. Was it frustrating? Absolutely. freaking -lutely. Did I screw it up? 100%. 100%, especially studying nutrition, because every time you turn around, there's something new, right? And you're like, well, which one's gonna, like you have to try every process. Like you gotta remember, like I've literally, when I tell you I've spent years and thousands of dollars fucking this up, I'm not kidding you. Like that is the, that is the truth. That is the God's honest truth. And you just learn to figure it out. But we have this process that we've already proven that we know it works. And while every single human body is different, every single human body still needs the same thing to thrive. Your body is still cells. Your body is still blood and water and organs. And it needs nutrients and vitamins and minerals. It doesn't need chemically processed bullshit. It doesn't know what to do with. It needs quality rocket fuel. And when you give your body that, no matter who you are, as we see, we have 74-year-olds down to 20-year-olds and 18-year-olds and even younger that have done this, that have maximized. So the diversity is there. We've already proven that. So many thousands of people with results, we've proven that. Do you understand? It's there. The human body needs it. 
Michelle says it's such a process. Rome wasn't built in a day. It's only 11 days, two shreds and 22 days in. How many years have you been eating crap? Yes, you sound like me. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yes, technology has made us feel like we want instant gratification. And the whole world revolves around pleasing us, right? I mean, think about it. You go out to the restaurant and you buy a meal. Guys, the portion size in that meal is enough to feed you three, maybe four times. The amount of calories in some of the meals that people order when they go out to eat, they have no clue that they're eating 15, 16, 1700 calories of useless garbage and then we're drinking more calories that are sugar and then we're having dessert that is even more like you walk onto there you're pounding two days worth of calories for some of you in one meal and we want this more is better i want more for my money if i get this if i do this i want results now health doesn't work like that and you know what you're worth the time you are worth the investment. You are worth the time. And if you don't believe that here, we need to work on that first because no protocol will help if you're not grasping it. You see the people that are succeeding with the ER shred, the people that you hear that have been around for a month and two months and three months, you're starting to see them answer questions and you're starting to hear them talk like this because they finally have come to the realization that number one, this way of, of eating is easier. It's way easier. It's actually cost effective. Um, because you're not eating all sorts of shit and buying shit every time you have to go out because you can maintain your hunger. You can maintain your cravings. You don't have those types of things anymore. And you're starting to understand that you just feel better when you take care of your body. And why wouldn't you want to feel better when you take care of like, Why wouldn't you want to sleep like a baby? Why wouldn't you want to feel like you're 20 when you're 40? Why wouldn't you want to, you know what I mean? Like, be jacked up every single day like why wouldn't you want to feel like that i don't think i i truly believe that there's not one person that goes i i just want to feel like shit every day i mean i don't know i could be wrong but it absolutely helps the grocery bill people say oh well meat's expensive you know what's expensive and going out to eat twice a week you know it's expensive stopping and buying a five dollar coffee every single day and then buying another one midday because you feel like the fucking garbage truck ran you over you know it's expensive doctor's bills medications hospital visits that shit's expensive if you actually think about that in a bigger picture and then you realize what you're actually investing I mean, I, I broke it out. Like I go to the, I go to BJ's, I go to Trader Joe's, I buy from Butcher Block. Obviously I have my isogenic stuff and it's, it's myself and my fiance. And I figured out that on average, on average, it's, it probably is about $150. And mind you, when I go to BJ, sometimes I'm buying cat treats and toilet paper and paper towels. So I don't know the exact thing, but let's just say it's 150 bucks, 150 bucks to feed two athletes breakfast lunch dinner snacks and and everything that we need you see her and i we're not big fans on going out to eat we we, we like to have coffee dates instead instead of spending three hundred dollars on alcohol and dinner we spend three hundred dollars on a two night stay in the mountains and we go experience epic adventures that somebody who wasn't in shape will never experience in their life and i feel really really sad for them because you're missing out on so much you see, that's what I choose to do. So it's it's really nothing different. Again, it's a mindset shift of, of living life and what you're doing. Is it really expensive or is it an investment because it's going to give you so much more? To me, it's that investment and it's really not that expensive if you actually lay it out. If you do the proper planning and plan your meals for the week and don't just go and buy and overbuy, like actually plan it out, it's really not that expensive. I, I bet if you actually did the... the, the you put the time in to write out everything that you used to do and figure out the difference. I bet a lot of you will realize that you're actually saving money. A lot of you are saving money. I eat a shit ton of food, so I don't necessarily save money, but it's, it's a flip flop for me. It's the same thing. What's up, Bob? Meat can be frozen. How often does produce go bad in the fridge? <laughs> shit. 
how long is it sitting in the grocery store? How long has it been transported from wherever it was transported from? A lot of our organic foods come from uh, Mexico. So depend if you live in Detroit and your food's coming from Mexico or across the border, when was it picked? How fresh was it? What are the regulations that have been put on it? Now it's going to your grocery store. When first it went to distribution, then it went to the grocery store. Now you know that those son of a bitches put the good stuff in the back and move the other stuff to the front because you want to go. That's why I always shop from the back pro tip right there shop from the back that's where your best dates are but you think about this stuff right you think about this stuff and you're like damn is it actually as nutritious as they say it is is it actually as nutritious I got a whole video coming out on how plants actually have what's called anti nutrients they don't want to be eaten there's certain ones that you can get away with for sure, but most plants don't want to be in. It's a self-defense mechanism that actually it's called anti-nutrients and it causes blockage and digestion problems and bloat and gas inside millions of people, me being one of them. Maybe you've experienced the same thing. I don't know. Right. Anyways, any other questions before I jump off? I want to, I feel more like myself than I have in two years. This is amazing. Bam, Jill, you win. You win the video comment of the day. <laughs> Guys, I hope this helps you. You know, I didn't, I just wanted to blabble. Blabble, it's my own word. Um, I just I just wanted to throw some stuff out there and kind of see where this went to. Um, the more information we can put out there, the better it's going to be. Um, again, if you're struggling, I want to really encourage you to suck it up, buttercup. Take that slogan, take that motto if you need it. Tell yourself that every day. I just, somebody just shared an amazing story with me. Um, they went through shit for like six days, like diarrhea and headaches and not feeling good. And they kept saying to themselves, suck it up, buttercup, because I said it in a video. And now they have amazing results. They're, they're, they gave themselves permission to not feel good because they knew that in order to get to the gold, they had to trudge through the shit. And trudging through the shit sometimes is what develops strong human beings. You just got to stop being a buttercup. <laughs> you got to stop sometimes and remind yourself how long it is that you've put yourself, you know, how long did you spend putting yourself in this position? You can't expect magic miracles overnight. Suck it up, buttercup. There's my boy Wayne. That's, Wayne's another great example. This guy's been with me forever. He finally gets it. Every day it's something new. It's like I'm finally understanding this 80-20 lifestyle. I, I got a couple things that I need to work on. He's not being perfect, but he's identifying. You see, as long as you guys are identifying and realizing things along the way so each time you get better and better and better and better and then before you know it boom you don't even think about it it's just the way of life that's what i hope each and every single one of you get to experience if you stick around with the er shred long enough we're not going anywhere this is something that you can always come back to the hardcore er shred 11 day protocol is always the best way to get yourself back to baseline it's always the best way to give yourself the, the deepest reset that you could possibly give yourself it's a beautiful thing to, to have in your toolbox the er shred lifestyle of eating and bigger sense of community and giving back and loving on others. And we have so many things that we can turn this into. That part of it never stops. That part of it never stops. And you can always come back and you can always learn. And you can continue to do four, five, six shreds. Remember I told you, get the whole thing of the protocol out and adapt the lifestyle because you're still shredding if you add an avocado down the road. You're still shredding if you're you know, trying different cheeses and you're, 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 you're trying this and you're trying that, different veggie, different squash, some olives, some you know, whatever, whatever. You're still living that lifestyle. It's a lifestyle choice that you're choosing to make. It's a lifestyle choice that you're choosing to make. So you're still shredding. You're just not doing the hardcore protocol because you don't need that baseline because you've been there. You've done that. You've gotten control. You worked on your mind. You, you've gotten the physical. And now you want to continue living that life because why wouldn't you? You're still shredding. Do you understand? You've got to understand that mindset. You're just playing around with different foods, but now you're not just eating, 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 and eating for the sense of eating, or you're not eating because somebody told you that it was healthy. You're eating because you know that it works with your body. 
You're eating because it fuels you from the inside out. It's a whole different way of living. So anyways, guys, I'm done. I need to breathe a little bit so I can get myself calmed down, do a little work and go to sleep. But I hope that brought you some value. If you join me live, I appreciate your time. I hope that I was able to serve you and give you some value. If you know somebody that can benefit from this, tag them in the comments. Don't forget our next big ER shred is January 25th. I think it's going to be honestly the biggest one. Uh, the beginning of the month, people are still coming off of the holidays. Now people have like, holy crap, it's 2021. Oh my God, the holiday wait. Oh my God, like people need our help. We have a guaranteed, proven, scientifically backed solution that is the simplest thing that you could ever possibly do, and it will create the most profound result that you will ever see from human beings. We see that with our own two eyes every single day in the group. Get out there, scream it with the megaphone, tell anybody who will listen, because the more people that we can impact, the more healthier human beings that we can create, I truly believe the world will become a better place because people will just be freaking happier. They will be happier with how they feel every single day. So get out there, spread the message. Remember, every single Monday, we have a Shred Your Business call. If you're interested in that, we can show you how to make a little side hustle, um, You know, doing what you love, sharing the gift of health. If that's for you, join us Monday nights. Every single Tuesday, we have my Shred Your Body call where we highlight another amazing shredder with their story. And next week, I have a really, really special guest for you. Like You do not want to miss that one. This girl suffered and literally could not eat food. I know because she's a personal friend of mine. She could not eat food. She struggled for years. And now she is thriving on the ER shred. And I cannot wait to share her story with you guys. And then obviously every Wednesday we have our ER shred, ER shred come alive testimonial call. It's probably my favorite call because it's 30 minutes of you sharing your story, your wins, your successes, what had happened, it's it, it's just if you haven't watched one of those go type into the search bar right now come er shred come alive call um go watch it go watch it pick one last night was freaking epic the stories that were on there guys it works trust the process trust the protocol you said yes for a reason don't you dare give up on yourself you suck it up buttercup if you need to because together we will win you are not alone you are here with over 20,000 other people i care about you sean cares about you crystal cares about you chris uh susan cares about you bob cares about you like we all just want you to feel amazing that's the end goal of what we need you guys to, to do. We're creating this sense of amazingness around the world. Be a part of that. Do not give up on yourself. Never give up on yourself. Keep asking questions. Um, but again, use common sense at the same time. So I know you're all going to smash it. I can't wait to hear from you soon. I hope you all have an amazing night.